Hey everyone, welcome to DOK Explorers Day. I am here to talk about running MongoDB on Kubernetes using operators. A quick intro about myself. I am Ritesh Karankal. As a DOK Explorer, I have been exploring cloud native ecosystem and sharing my learnings. It all began when I set out on an adventure to know how a MongoDB database runs on Kubernetes. But I was not sure how to get started with MongoDB on it. Figured out it could be easily done by first learning Kubernetes primitives and how the operator helps. Let's simplify. A database is an application. An application is essentially a combination of compute, networks, and storage. Its code needs a place to run. It must be able to communicate with other devices and requires a location to store data, which our database requires just as well as any other application, right? Same goes when we deploy database on Kubernetes. If we organize the Kubernetes primitive resources based on it, we have pods, deployment, stateful site for running stateful workloads. Then we have services and ingress that allows you to expose your application to the outside world. And about the whole storage part, we have persistent volume, which is Kubernetes way of getting access to storage that outlives the life cycle of a pod. Be ready to see more of this little items all over my slides as all of this component work together to make things happen. So basically when we are checking out any stateful application in Kubernetes, there are two parts to it. The Kubernetes primitives like stateful sets, pods, secrets and all that jazz and the, Kubernetes, and the MongoDB configuration. The most straightforward way to set up a single replica set involves three components and three storage volumes. It needs to configure all these nodes to talk to each other, network, the network, persistent storage, and dedicated computing and capacity, as we discussed earlier. On the other hand, setting up a sharded cluster is more complicated than a single replica set. The picture on the right shows you that it has nine parts which can be challenging to configure manually that's a problem why bother when an operator can handle all of this as i started researching how to deploy mongodb on kubernetes i learned that i should be using operators if i want to use a database on kubernetes what do operators do they kind of simplify the process by providing a way to interact with Kubernetes and data configuration files through YAML. As you can see on the screen, the YAML manifest is the resource you provide for the system, which is formally known as custom resource. That is your knowledge, the human knowledge. This is a custom resource provided by MongoDB community operator. So instead of going and configuring it all by you. You just need to send it to operator specifying how you want the replica set to be configured and it will do all it for you. The operator will take care about the storage part. It will create PV, PVCs and st create stateful set which will be used by replica set. It also creates services for the network part. Let's jump to the end. We have this deployment where every pod is running on the nodes. The operator will manage the cluster and use the MongoDB agent image to image which will take care of MongoDB image. And we have our cluster running. That's all for today. Wanna explore more? Here are some resources you can go through. These resources help me grasp, grasp the process and understand how to go about doing it. Check out my slides in the Slack and don't forget to take a closer look for some fun Easter eggs. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. 
remember to take breaks and stretch your back peace out